The Jamares Cartel, also known as the Vicente Carrillo Fuentes Organization, is a Mexican criminal cartel based in Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, across the Mexico-U.S. border from El Paso, Texas. The cartel is one of several drug trafficking organizations known to eliminate their rivals, mutilate them and dump them in public places to instill fear not only in the general public, but also in local law enforcement and their rivals. Sinaloa Cartel Its currently known leader is Juan Pablo Lides. The Juarez Cartel has an armed wing known as La Linea, a Juarez street gang that routinely carries out punishments and is now the most powerful and leading faction of the cartel. He also uses the Barrio Azteca gang to attack his enemies. The Juarez cartel was the dominant player in the center of the country, controlling much of the cocaine traffic from Mexico to the United States. The death of Amado Carrillo Fuentes in 1997 marked the beginning of the decline of the Juarez cartel, as Carrillo relied on connections to Mexico's high-ranking drug enforcement officer, General of Division Jesus Gutierrez Raboya. In September 2011, the Mexican Federal Police revealed that the cartel was now known as the New Juarez Cartel. In 2012, the New Juarez Cartel was alleged to be responsible for the recent killings of people in Ciudad Juarez and Chihuahua. The cartel was founded around the 1970s, when leader Pablo Acosta Villarreal was killed in April 1987 during a cross-border helicopter raid by Mexican Federal Police in the Rio Grande village of Santa Elena, Chihuahua. Rafael Aguilar Guajardo took his place, along with Amado Carrillo Fuentes, nephew of Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo. Eventually Guajardo was betrayed and killed by Fuentes in 1993 and Amado became the leader of Juarez. Amado attracted his brothers to this business, and then his son. After Amado died in 1997 due to complications from plastic surgery, a brief conflict over control of the cartel erupted and Amado's brother, Vicente Carrillo Fuentes became leader after defeating the Munoz Talavera brothers. Vicente Carrillo Fuentes then formed a partnership with Juan José Esparagosa Moreno, his brother Rodolfo Carrillo Fuentes, his nephew Vicente Carrillo Lima, Ricardo Garcia Urquiza and formed an alliance with other drug lords such as Ismael Mayo Zambada in Sinaloa and California, that the brothers Beltran Leva in Monterrey, and Joaquin El Chapo Guzman in Nayarit, Sinaloa, and Tom Alipas. When Vicente took control of the cartel, the organization was on the move. Amado's death created a large power vacuum in the Mexican underworld. The Carrillo Fuentes brothers became the most powerful organization in the 1990s, while Vicente was able to avoid direct conflict and strengthen the Juarez cartel. Relations between the Carrillo Fuentes clan and other members of the organization became unstable towards the end of the 1990s and early 2000s. During the 1990s and early 2000s, Drug lords from contiguous Mexican states formed an alliance that became known as the Golden Triangle Alliance or La Alianza Triangulo de Oro because of the area of influence of three states, Chihuahua, south of the United States, Texas, Durango, and Sinaloa. However, this alliance was broken after the Sinaloa cartel drug lord Joaquim Guzman Lura, K. 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 Shorty, refused to pay the Juarez cartel for the right to use some smuggling routes into the U.S. In 2001, after Joaquin Guzman Lora El Chapo escaped from prison, many members of the Juarez cartel defected to Guzman Lora's Sinaloa cartel. In 2004, Brother Vicente was eliminated, allegedly on the orders of Guzman Lora. Carrillo Fuentes responded by removing Brother Guzman from prison. This led to a turf conflict between the two cartels, which was more or less suspended from 2005 to 2006 due to the Sinaloa cartel versus Gulf cartel conflict. After the collapse of the organization, some of its elements were incorporated into the Sinaloa cartel, which absorbed much of the former territory of the Juarez cartel. The Juarez cartel was able to bribe or intimidate high-ranking officials to obtain information on law enforcement officials and gain protection from the police and the judiciary. The Juarez cartel operates in 21 Mexican states. Its main bases are Culiacan, Monterrey, Ciudad Juarez, Ojinaga, Mexico City, Guadalajara, Cuernavaca, and Cancun. Cartel members were implicated in the scene of the Ciudad Juarez serial murder that was discovered in 2004 and dubbed the House of Death. Since 2007, the Juarez cartel has been fighting a bitter battle with its former partner, the Sinaloa cartel, for control of Juarez. As a result of the fighting between them and Chihuahua, thousands of people died. The Juarez cartel relies on two law enforcement gangs to control both sides of the border, La Linea, a group of corrupt, current and former, Chihuahua police officers, dominates the Mexican side, and the Barrio Azteca street gang operates in Mexico, and in Texas cities such as El Paso, Dallas, and Houston as well as New Mexico and Arizona. On July 15, 2010, 
the Juarez cartel took violence to a new level by using a car bomb against members of the federal police. In September 2011, banners were put up advertising the return of the vanished cartel. They were signed by Cesar Elgato Carrillo Leva, who appears to be the son or close relative of the late drug lord Amado Carrillo Fuentes. Until 2012, the Juarez cartel controlled one of the main routes for the billions of dollars of illegal drugs that enter the United States from Mexico every year. However, control of these areas has since passed to the Sinaloa cartel. On September 1, 2013, Mexican forces arrested Alberto Carrillo Fuentes, also known as Betty Lafia, Ugly Betty, in the western state of Nayarit. He took over the leadership of the organization in 2013 after his brother Vicente Carrillo Fuentes, a fugitive until his arrest in October 2014, retired due to illness. The Mexican government has put up for auction the villa of the late drug lord Amado Carrillo Fuentes. A home in Mexico City was sold for more than $2 million, one pound, six million, with the proceeds going to Mexico's public health service and its fight against the coronavirus. As of March 2010, the main cartels are said to have coalesced into two loosely affiliated factions, one of which allied itself with the Juarez cartel, the Tijuana cartel, Los Zetas, and the Beltran Leva cartel, the other faction integrated the Gulf cartel, the Sinaloa cartel and the now disbanded La Familia cartel. In 2019, it was revealed that notorious Mexican drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman placed a bounty on Juarez cartel leader Juan Pablo Leadsom for ending the Juarez cartel's alliance with his Sinaloa cartel. By 2018, the Juarez cartel's power had declined in its home region of Ciudad Juarez. In June 2020, it was reported that La Linea was the most powerful faction of the Juarez cartel in Ciudad Juarez. However, Los Salazar, a powerful cell of the Sinaloa cartel, had by this point also managed to establish a presence in Ciudad Juarez. The Jalisco New Generation cartel also made itself known in Ciudad Juarez with their new Juarez cartel, although they could not contain the influence that La Linea and Los Salazar had over the Ciudad Juarez drug trafficking market. The brutality of the Mexican gangs knows no bounds. Their favorite way to show the enemy who is the boss here is terribly simple and merciless. They kidnap loved ones of their opponent or members of another group and mince them, cutting the bodies into pieces. They pile it all up and leave it in the car, usually in some spacious jeep, in a conspicuous place. You can Google the Los Zetas cartel's reprisals against your opponents, but before that, you should refrain from eating. If, after all that has been said, you still want to go to this city, then go ahead, now it's not as dangerous there as it was a couple of years ago. The city looks exactly like any average city in another country, unless the architecture comes across more pleasant due to its colonial component. Well, the signs are all in Mexican and with Mexican flavor. The poor population and cheap labor contrast with the affluent city dwellers who have ties to the city government or directly to the Juarez cartel. The mayor is trying to do something and set up production, and it seems that he is gradually succeeding. But the money that flows across the border in the huge stream, straight to the United States and back, like sand, pours into the void, bypassing the city budget.